Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to demonstrate how to create a user group in Windows 11. Let's go ahead and get started. To do that, I'm going to right click here and go to Computer Management. Once I click on Computer Management, this opens up. And once that opens up, I'll go ahead and here and expand so I will have a bigger space. With that done, I'm going to go ahead and click here and go to Groups. I can right click here and create a new group. Or I can double click, open this up so I have this new space with all the groups listed here. Now to create a new group, all I need to do is right click and say new group. I'm going to call my group experimental or practice. Experi mental and I can give a description of what the group is about the description part is not mandatory however for the next person that will be a an administrator that work with you, the description will help them understand the reason for creating the account, why you created the account and who uses it. Now that I created this group, I can add members of the group here even before I finish. Or I can add members to this group after I finish. Let me go ahead and do create to create the group. Notice that the group name does not appear here, but as soon as I close, it will appear at the bottom. Now, I can add members to this group. To add members, I'm gonna go ahead to users and create some new users to add to my group. So now that I'm in the users folder, I will right click and say new user and I will call the first one Udo P and I'm going to unselect this, deselect this so everything is default and I'll say create. And I'll say the next one is Peter U and I will unselect this and leave everything at default. And say create. I can create a third person, say John Z, and leave everything with their default values, nothing selected. Say create. Notice that my new users do not show up here. But as soon as I click here, they all pop up. John Z, Peter, U, Udo, P. Everything I arranged in alphabetical order. As soon as this is created, I can go back to my groups and go to experimental. I can double click to bring up the properties of this group or I can right click and go to properties. So I can see the members of this group. Now there are no members. If I click add, I can try to put this in, say Udo P. And say check names. It will pull up the new account I've created and put it there with the file path where the names are. 
and I'll click OK. And now it makes Udo P a member of the experimental group. You can call this payroll group or human resources group or sales group or marketing group based on what your organization needs. Now that we added Udo P to this group, let's add Peter U to the same group. You're going to say add, say Peter U. Notice that it's not case sensitive. If I type Peter U and say check names to make sure I have the right name, once she pops up like that with the underline, that means it has authenticated that, it has validated that the name is there. And I can click OK to add that. And now we have two names. And I can say OK. So when I go to experimental, I got two members there. Now, if I want to remove these members, I can double click to open it, click this person, and remove. And Udo P is gone from the group. I can click and say remove. And this second person, Peter U, is gone from the group. And then I click OK. And it's updated. If I click here, there's no more, no more usernames in the group. So I'm going to cancel. And here, I have the choice to delete the group. I can rename the group. Let's say that there's no more experimental group. The assignments are done. There's supposed to be a temporary team. And now you got a more permanent team called payroll. Payroll department, where new people hire for payroll, will be added. You can rename it payroll. And then start adding new users that you create that belong to that department in this group. But let's say you don't need this group. What do you do? How do you remove them? You right click and left click to delete and then confirm and the group is gone. And that's how you create and delete a new user group in Windows 11. Thanks for watching, and I see you in the next video.